at this one and we say, yo, what up? How's it going, man? What's going on, Tim? <clears throat> how's uh how's life? How how are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm well, I'm well. I'm here with uh, my buddy Barrett, and we're gonna do a mm -hmm. we're gonna do a deck doctor. You got the deck doctor and the cyborg surgeon. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> coming in <laughs> coming in to uh to talk about your awesome sarah deck so with that said man hit me with the elevator pitch what do you got what do you got going on here so my idea for this is i think villainous whaley is a really sick card in sarah because it allows him to use his once per game more than once per game essentially um it's a little bit different obviously but um the goal is just to either discard their whole hand or discard all of their blocks to where i know what they have in hand and they cannot block anything because either they are forced to partial block and i draw two cards or they just take a bunch of damage so that's kind of the whole goal is to just know what they have blocks wise and just mind game them okay so, <clears throat> because i mean even though there is a lot of discard like you don't necessarily have to discard their whole hand because you can either discard all their lows, make everything a low, and now they have to, you know, block with their mids, I draw two, they still take half damage. Or I know that they only have highs in hand, I will make my tape swing a high, now they cannot block it and take a bunch of damage. And so I think there's a lot of really interesting stuff you can do with uh, okay. a lot of these attacks. I love that. And then what do you want our help on? Um, I really need help with the foundation lineup because um, like, I there's a lot of void foundations now and I'm not really sure like what path I want to go for like my foundation base to you know kind of help me with. Um, and then maybe just a little bit like the attack lineup because like, I don't know necessarily if I want everything to, you know, discard cards you know right it might be useful to have some attacks that just give you good value because like once they're down to no hand i gotta have cards that actually kill them true 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 so well lucky for you you have the void master here um <laughs> and so we'll uh we'll we'll, we'll just get barrett's thoughts on it what do you what do you think yeah um yeah. so it's it's actually pretty cool because like i do love the void symbol and it's very much the one symbol that i love playing right now and you also have mm -hmm. a guy over here that did want to play Saro pretty competitively so uh mm -hmm. so you have a very good kind of combo going on here i love that i love that we're doing Sweet. the set three stuff already looking at i actually do think that the discard the discard route is a way to go in this next set um mm -hmm. not only with you know uh, a lot more cancellation coming out as well as more ways to get cards out of your opponent's hand i think the scariest mm -hmm. things you want to look out for are yeah exactly like you said how many attacks do i need to play to get my opponent to lose those cards while also at the same time like pushing out enough damage was kind of the biggest mm -hmm. scary part um Sarah inherently doesn't pump stats but he yep. makes it to where we're hopefully hitting them always for full is the goal. We don't want our opponent mm -hmm. to block. But as a yep. six-hander with base value of stats, sometimes it does not get there fast enough. Yes. Um, that's the scariest part, I would say, with Cero. Um, mm -hmm. Airstream Driver, If you can ask Tam. Airstream Driver, I believe, at two different times when i talked with tam was both the best card in the deck and also the worst card in the deck because your opponent never mm -hmm. blocked you and it felt very blank and then when they did yeah. block you it was great because then you could also change its zone mm -hmm. um blood moon rending would take a lot of work um it's a weapon combo right and it's, it's the third yeah. thing so like that's a mm -hmm. hard one for sure waylay not being a weapon um yeah, that's the only other one being training knife training slice knife slate, and binding cloth yeah. precision, which mm -hmm. bit binding cloth precision is just like the if it's like the third or the fourth thing, right? Is that what that one is? The three yeah. of um, gotcha. Yeah, I mean they just needed like help finding other like weapon cards that would be decent, and that was just sort of then just because it's a three diff. If we draw it later in the turn, if they happen to partial block, then it's kind of just like an easy thing to throw out for. For yeah, sure. Free damage. I love, I love plus ultra. Um, Sarah's really good at getting momentum because they usually just don't block you or you make it to where they can't block you. Mm -hmm. um, 
I, the other issue you'll run into this is that a lot of these discard cards are five difficulty attacks, and you're playing mm -hmm. eight two checks right now. Um, <laughs> that's not what yeah. I'm talking about. So <laughs> what a man! It's, the biggest it's, balls on this guy. I love it. And like that's this <laughs> that's the scary part with Sero because you see tape swing and you see Sero and you're like, I feel like I have to play this card, but then you want to play a discard deck, yeah. and then you look at Villainous Way Lane and you feel like, hey, I have to play this card. I think there's a world where you yeah. can get away with this by not playing one or the other. Like, mm -hmm. I, I actually don't think Saro needs Waylay, but I 100% understand where you're going for about, like, using his once per mm -hmm. game multiple times. But I think there's yeah. actually going to be enough discard in this next set and things to cancel things like draw mm -hmm. that Saro might not even need Waylay to do really well as, like, a character. Um, mm -hmm. Or you might just not need the tape swings anymore and he can pump out enough damage. It's very it's a very fine line because I, you have things like Unexpected Hero in the, in the list. Um, Harden gets you the same place when it comes to extra damage. Heroic Lineage gets you mm -hmm. the same place with extra damage. Prone to Dry Eyes gets you like there, there's a lot more damage pump for Void come next set, but yeah, it's it, it's for sure like the the curve, the checks, and how many cards do we need our opponent to be discarding down to to make this really matter for sure. Yeah, um, um, I don't yeah, know the that. Two I think... is. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. You're good. Is your deck? Uh, I was um, just gonna say the two checks are kind of scary, mm -hmm. but um, I feel like if we're just able to kind of avoid checking them as much yeah. as possible, then like I think the value on both of those cards is just astronomical. Because I mean, Tape Swing is our best kill card, and Wayla is like free discard a card essentially, 100%. or just give me information that will like make me plan out my kill turn even better um like, i think obviously um rending is like the better way to go about it because it's not the two check but it also is kind of hard to get to that um combo it, it's also a combo and there are a lot of things that interact with combos right now uh yeah as well as you have to also discard a card and again you are a six hander which means if you're pulling off the combo this turn you have two cards left in your hand assuming they didn't mm -hmm. have block any of your things right um yeah. that's kind of where i'll go to when we get to like prone dry eyes is like i don't know how many extra cards you're actually going to have to make cards like this go mm -hmm. its full value um but i and my initial thoughts when i look at saro going into a set three kind of format i like the waylay i like the tank swing if i was just trying to streamline being like i'm okay with playing eight or maybe even like six two checks then we have to mm -hmm. very much tailor our foundation lineup to allow us to do that. I think that's a really good place to yeah. kind of start with that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the the main reason that like prone to dry eyes and like blood and running is just like in my head, like say we play waylay, we get them to discard their low, we make everything a low, so now they have they're forced to block with their mids if they want to not take as much damage. Mm -hmm. Um, and then now they get me my partial block and now I drop two and then I have cards to discard for those things. But, um, yeah, I see what you're saying with, like, if they tap into not block, then it kind of sucks. I, I, more often than not, what I found out was because of things like training knife slice and mm -hmm. the, uh, I have it in here. The Shinzo one. Uh, the Shinzo one. The sh off guard <laughs> punch. Sorry. Um, mm -hmm. What I found more often than not when I played it, and what I believe to be one of the successful ways to play the discard deck is play as if they're not going to ever block anything because they mm -hmm. either don't want to give you value, you snipe things out of their hand with waylay, mm -hmm. or they have no cards in their hand. Like those are, those are the three conditions typically. Mm -hmm. And now we live in a world where we can cancel their draw answers yes you should i think you should focus the deck where they just aren't going to block anything so mm -hmm. that's where i will feel like rending is something we should maybe stay away from and okay. we yeah. just yeah. play things that kill people <clears throat> i saw tam hover it but can't escape me is a busted card that card's nice and yeah that's, that's what's symbol. going to make this deck say, work yeah. i'm playing order at nationals i lied oh it's you're down to symbols. zero hand Holy size shit. and a pass on the torch yep no you don't no and, and so like uh, the way you're same kind of skilled. deck you're building here no, you i don't. built it under eraser head because instead of changing all mm -hmm. my zones i just get the extra like turn off this foundation i play yeah. night watch really well because of my character i'm a seven hander mm -hmm. and i'm just kind of pushing speed so you're really not going to block any of the things that i do and then eventually you go to zero cards that's how i did it mm -hmm. um so 
here's where I'm at when it comes to Cero and Tape Swing. I'm already mm -hmm. hearing people put this card at a three of because of the two check and how bad it fucks them. I think putting this at eight okay. of is actually a death sentence. Okay. Um, That's understandable. I love Wele. I think Wele and Cero mm -hmm. is sick. I think that it is not a four of in your deck. I think it's a two of. I think having three tape yeah. swing, three waylay is probably the right call. Um, um, I think having this card at a four, like how often do you want this card at a four of, right? Are you comfortable with this being the four attacks that you draw? Like if you draw two, it's not yes very and good, no, right? I guess. You want you I mean, want like, one sure of these wanna... every single turn, right? And yeah, just one, just exclusively one, hand, yeah. right? Or just know what they, you know, have in hand, I guess, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. that's where I'm at personally, right? And then yeah. like you've got you, you should have like way some of these other cards that are like way more impactful. Like Grasping mm -hmm. Tape Toss is fucked up, man. That's a that's, that's a crazy card, right? Mm -hmm. Um it's another two diff, and it's something I'm bummed that I haven't explored more in set two, but like Zero Gravity Barrier says that you don't die. Maybe that's a cyborg card. Sunambulism is like an insane card. Discard a momentum, your obel discards mm -hmm. a card. Of course you have a momentum, right? Is yep. this card a better version of of this really? card? Right? Right? Is this like, it, should we go two tape, two waylay, two sun amulism? And there's your six two checks, right? If yeah. I have, if I have a three keywords in my pool, right? If I have a training knife there's slice one. into sun amulism, draw two, mm -hmm. pitch one. it's draw two, pitch one, they partial, I draw another two more. Yep. I win. And it's six damage, yeah. like it helps you get where you're trying to go. And it like... lets you sideboard in a midnight, mm -hmm. which is, I think is going to be huge, right? That's true. Um,. Here's a kind of wacky idea. Um, what do you think of Go Beyond to supplement those two checks for three dips instead? I love like, it. We are Cero, and we are able to get momentum fairly easily. So I think that to just like, oh, it's in my discard. Sure, I'll go pitch momentum, go grab it, replace it. Just as a way to supplement those two checks. I want to look at something real quick, if you can. Keep, mm -hmm. keep, uh, let's keep see. Chatting, you're uh, good. Other than that, like, you got, you got all the generic good stuff in here. Um, again, mm -hmm. I, not only is it the, like, hey, I need to get rid of my opponent's hand or make it, make it to where they can't block things, whether it's zero cards or yeah. zones. It's, mm -hmm. are we killing people fast enough? Because, like, it, let's say you find the three attacks that are the perfect combination, but does it count to 26? Like, uh, mm -hmm. Like, if you play against a six-hander with 26 vitality. Because then you have to do this again on a separate turn, and my opponent has yeah. another turn to try and backswing me. How many cards mm -hmm. did I commit while trying to do all that damage? Like, that's the biggest downside yeah. when you try and do this on a character like Sero, and you're mm -hmm. you're playing a five-diff into a, another five-diff into a four-diff, and, like, if you checked a three on any of those, you're tapping three cards or two cards, and now you're oh, yeah. leaving yourself even vulnerable. Worse two, yeah. yeah. Can I ask the hard question? Yeah. Yeah. Have you played with this list yet? I have not. This is just a pure theory crafting. Perfect. Um, I think this list is going to be really hard for us to deck doctor, strictly because mm -hmm. we don't have these answers either. Maybe four and four is the right way to go, man. Right? Okay. Um, I think this is going to actually be less about us changing cards in your deck and more about mm -hmm. when you are testing this exact 66 card list. Here mm -hmm. is the things that you should look out for, and here's the things that you should keep in mind as you're testing, right? Okay. And I think that might actually be more beneficial to you as opposed to, hey, let's just strip a bunch of your cool cards out of your deck and say fuck you to your cool idea. I think mm -hmm. I think this is probably going to yeah. be better off for you. My okay. elevator pitch to you for small testing things is probably stay away from the three diffs. You're going to have plenty of okay. damage puff. I don't know if prone to dry eyes makes the cut for mm -hmm. that reason. Yeah. You should yeah. lower the amount of two diffs you're playing so you can cuz I think the mm -hmm. your turn one build is going to be very important. Um yes. Gotcha's, yep, easily excited, yep. Um we should be... passionates I think are very important. We should play acrobatic. Mm -hmm. Acrobat Out of four yeah, just extra zero diffs cuz we're playing two checks mm -hmm. and we're playing a bunch of them. Um, I think yeah, cards like yeah. Calling for Backup are good for this deck. Uh, I love cards like Unexpected Hero because you're going to be pitching those things, and it is three damage when they go to zero cards. That is actually why the card yeah. is so good. Um, mm -hmm. Like That card, in my opinion, goes further than Heroic Lineage because I don't have to tap it, and you can yes. kill somebody faster. Correct. Mm -hmm. Um, spooky's really cut a lot of the defensive pieces. Try and make this. Mm -hmm. Try and make what you're trying to do work. 
cut all the yeah. techie defense. So and kind of go as aggro as possible. Yeah, yeah, like learning the standards, don't need it in the main board. Like spooky, mm -hmm. not main board. Confused, don't need it in the main board. Villains yeah. defeated, probably don't need it main boarded. Uh, yeah. Think fast is nuts with your character. Yeah, you got to play this one. This yeah. one's hey, this one yeah. mandatory. Got to have that one. Uh, Night mm -hmm. watch, I'd yeah. say keep it. I think one of is great. I don't work. Which one's <laughs> that? That's simp. That's uh, if destroyed. if deals no damage probably doesn't make the cut. Um, so so here's I actually I actually like idle work in this deck specifically in this set. We we'll can disagree. It's fine. It's fine. Because we'll see, it, what do you do versus Sero? Full block or non block? If they full block, you cycle the card, right? Um, I I actually only really if, like it because if you do the small number play, ooh. idle work in this card will work if you're trying to ready more mm -hmm. cards. Um, for yeah, your that, labors, that for, probably doesn't make it main board. You're not you're not gonna go to deadlock in this deck. They're gonna try and either yeah. kill you and backswing you, or you're gonna kill them fast enough. Genuinely, um, mm -hmm. probably don't even need the tapes unless you want them for two damage. The plus ultra box. Oh yeah, yeah. you're right. That's um, for that one. One resistance. <laughs> I don't think you need it. Needed I, it that I mean, bad, that was. <laughs> no, I I was, I was just like throwing like, cards in there, and that just kind of got left in there. I even um, like the one blood curdle. Like sometimes it'll get you yeah. there. Like I need to tap mm -hmm. my opponent's character to get to kill them this turn. Yeah, and then, like, like for example, like Momo, like being able to pick up her perfect block. Now yep. you say no, you can't do that anymore. So, um, so I think like in that giant list, I know I just made a giant spiel, but like the mm -hmm. things that cancel the way for you to win. So like I think there's a world where mm -hmm. Taiyaki Fanatic finds a way in one of those spots because it cancels yeah. another way of your opponent drawing a card. Um, mm -hmm. Can't escape me. Probably a four of because it just helps promote your game plan of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, there's a world where if we need to kill people, first impressions goes in as well. Like manly friendship for some extra spam damage. Like it, to yeah. like swap out these other cards I talked about. Um, I think mm -hmm. if you just go and promote that game plan, test this a bunch because I'm gonna honestly, mm -hmm. man, I'm gonna be right there with you. Probably just on a different character. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Because who knows what the right amount... Like, is Waylay the way to go? Is Waylay mm -hmm. and Swing way to go? Do you need one or the other, if not both? Do we need Synombolism mm -hmm. instead? Um, is it just become a weapon discard deck? And we play the yeah. rendings, get rid of the two checks, play or and play Synombolism, rending, uh, training knife slice. There's a there's an eraser card that I didn't even put in because like we were talking about like not caring about blocks uh binding cloth drop kick eat discard a card this deck is plus four damage this is a four mm -hmm. high uh for eight damage that like once you dip their whole hand it just combos with the weapon right yeah. so you like knife slice into draining uh, uh into binding cloth kick into rending mm -hmm. like if you just like figure out a way to strip their hand with like the knife strike um knife strike plus sero uh, mm -hmm. and then you just like rending drop kick them that's like 100 damage that with yeah. like there's other cards in the game that also say discard a card like I i'm playing a racer head so I binding cloth capture is my good way of doing and stripping cards out of your hand i have to play combos mm -hmm. to do that so my deck looks like rending that card the one that tam just talked about so mm -hmm. yeah like oh like, that's like, gross like that like and that's a weapon <laughs> yeah, deck that does so I i'm not using waylay i'm not going to use tape swing i'm not going to use driver but I need weapons and I need combos and I'm going to be doing mm -hmm. the same thing that you're doing, but we're playing completely different decks. How cool. Yeah. This game's tight. Yeah. And like, like this, you're on the right page, man. I think like, like I think void discard is for sure a deck next set. Um, mm -hmm. But who knows what it looks like? And I don't have the answer. either. Yeah. I think binding cloth capture was probably like the other card I was considering, mm -hmm. but like that probably means I slot in like a few other, like one of assets just as like cancels or like, counters to my opponent's stuff that counters my game plan like nullify um, right like nullify, yeah, nullify or, cancels or, another um, thing but we played an action card so now my binding cloth captures get cheaper um i'm mm -hmm. cheating and playing eraser head so i get to play eraser response yeah. and let it kick but like engine trouble mm -hmm. in, engine, trouble, engine yeah. trouble exactly yeah or go beyond if i go pitch beyond. to yeah yeah go beyond is that one character for sure go beyond silly yeah mm -hmm. um so here's what we're gonna do First and foremost, we're just going to take out the prone to dry eyes. Yeah, and we're going to sure. toss in four of these acrobatics. Mm -hmm. um, you need this. You have to have it in order to play your four and four. Tricks, yeah. Right? You just mm -hmm. have to. 
Um, my other notes is like mainly probably goes up to a four because in case that scenario where we check a two and we're trying to still build, mm -hmm. we can maybe block and build some more. Like like yeah. that's something that I would try and do. Mm -hmm. um, again, a lot of the defensive main boards pieces like learning the standards probably doesn't make the cut. Um, mm -hmm. Villains, yeah. confused, spooky. Basically all those last three at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, because you want every foundation to matter. I would rather it be your build turn be mm -hmm. three small limbers and idle work and a zero diff. And if you pull that off, mm -hmm. you can actually probably probably kill somebody on turn two. <laughs> yeah, the only thing is I know our, our high blocks are kind of rough. <clears throat> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that was another reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually always been the case. Um, uh, I mean, it's yeah. mediator then, yeah? Yeah, enough. that's we a good one. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. It's a one drop that. Easily excited. That's a high block, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, and there that's might be some 69. stuff that. Could we have to get rid of mid blocks. Uh, yeah. Block zone. Like like yeah, there's actually good. a bunch of lows. All right, yeah. so goodbye to idle. Fruit. But idols are only way of. I think, I think you're out of deadlock if the game goes long, right? But ideally, we don't want to even get to that point, right? Uh, so this is exclusively the test of this attack line up works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. Like that's that's yeah. the entire point of us cutting all of this. Um, mm -hmm. just cut the block it's just it's just so that yeah. like you don't accidentally lose because you checked a bunch of twos and then are like, well, I got no actual data out of this. Because you're cause you're, mm -hmm. you're never gonna go to deadlock in that testing. So what you yeah. have to figure out first, and this is like this is like the idea of testing is does the attack lineup actually do what I want it to do? Yeah. Does this mm -hmm. word work? And then from there, how do I make my foundations support my attack lineup, mm -hmm. right? Because if you try to go the other way, you just won't kill people because attack yeah, cards are the most important cards in your deck. They are because mm -hmm. they are the only cards in your deck that can affect this number here. And this yeah. is the way that you win the game. Mm -hmm. For sure. <clears throat> um, I think in terms of like attack lineup, I think probably the one thing to take out is binding cost precision. Even though it is the three diff, like it does feel awkward playing that with rending. Um, yeah. It's probably just swap that for something else that just pumps damage. I think, or... I think if you. Have a high block. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think uh, a high block, yeah. No, um, Awkward Punch has a mid, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Double jab home. <laughs> the binding uh, cloth is high, right? Binding cloth? Yeah. yeah binding cloth capture. Uh, can I sell you yeah, on this you card? Said, yeah, yeah. Drop kick. <laughs> oh, the the discard one. Yeah. The no. The yeah. Discard a card. Give this thing damage. Yeah. Yeah, that works too. It's to play after your rending mm -hmm. or trading or after, nice lives right, after yeah. they didn't block it and they discarded a card and you know what you know what zones they have already. Like that's the mm -hmm. one you do it. And it turns your yeah. foundation that you drew that turn, or if that's say they partialed you, it turns your bad card. Like it does what prone to dry eyes does for you, but actually hits them, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, it just tries to fuck them up for eight damage. Gives you some uh, eyes. Yeah, and this that is at least better. good enough yeah. to test, yeah, right? That looks better. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is the start of a deck that we don't even have cards printed for. So this is true. Yeah. I I, I and I'm on your boat, man. Um. Well, I'll well, I, and when he sends you the updated version of this, I'll send you my Discord tag, and if you want to talk Void Symbol Man, I'll, I'll chat with you forever. Oh, <laughs> so. for sure, man, for sure. Hell yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think, like, I tried like a Discord list and like the current set, and it just doesn't get there. But I agree. Um, I think some of these new attacks just the Discord capabilities are off the charts. So. Talk with me long enough, and I'll sell you on Cero uh, Kicks. So Cero <laughs> Kicks. <laughs> Kicking with tape. We'll see. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hi, right, buddy. Uh, any last minute, last minute thoughts? Uh, not, none that I could think of. Yeah, this definitely helped me like kind of narrow the deck down um, in terms of cards that I wanted to play. So, Hell yeah. yeah! Love to hear it. Appreciate Love it. To hear it. Yeah, well, I appreciate you and the support from over on uh, on Patreon. We'll uh, stay on the line long enough to, for me to shoot you the deck list, and uh, you have a good one, okay? Yeah, you as well. All right. Peace.